everyone, Maggie and Kay here from Cool Cats. Hi, I'm Kay. I'm Maggie, <laughs> and we're here today to talk to you about our new Clever Alignment Guide tools. tools. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to show you is actually about the tools themselves. You get two in the set, and they're designed and cut, the precision cut from acrylic. And what we've done is we've created a tool that will allow you to make sure that your placement for your album spines, for embellishments, for faux stitching round cards can be accurate. So the two tools that you have, one will say quarter inch on it and the other one, other side of it will say half an inch. And if you look opposite the half inch um, mark, there's a little tiny gap there which is dropped down and recessed and that's quarter of an inch. If you turn that over, it says quarter of an inch here, but the recess there is actually half an inch. And then we've got exactly the same format, five eighths of an inch at the top here with the recess of three eighths of an inch, three eighths of an inch at the top, five eighths of an inch there. And you will see on all the tools, both sides, you have a centralizing notch and then you have half inch and inch marks just to help you with your lining up. So. And they're also different colours, so you can cut one apart from the That's other. That's very true. I just okay, I forgot that. to say that. They're different <laughs> colours, so you can easily pick up the right one. I'd better tell you this as well. The darker one is the quarter inch <laughs> and half inch, and the, the more tealy coloured one is three eighths of an inch and five eighths of an inch. So here's an album cover I've put together, and I've actually drawn the central line of my spine. Now, I want to make sure that I've got equidistant both ends, and this one I'm going to use 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to pop that there, so I know that make a little mark here, so that would be 3 eighths, and pop that there, and make a little mark here, and that will be 3 eighths. So, two 3 eighths actually add up to 3 quarters of an inch, don't they? They do. They do, okay. And my album cover, is eight inches so my spine to have it equidistant will actually be seven and a quarter inches in length so that will give me three eighths of an inch each side yes okay yes right now traditionally in the past you used to have to peel off your backing up line it up by eye standing up and just going for it but now it's much easier because you've got your alignment tools and because you've got the depth of the notch here this will slot onto your grey board like that and it won't move. And there's my centralising notch there and there's my centralising line there. Okay. So if you have dexterity issues, what you could do is actually just take this little bit down now if you wanted to so it stays completely fixed firm. There. That's a good idea. Which I would recommend. Sometimes when my hands are a bit wobbly, that's what I do. Or just put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back and then stick it down to your glass mat. So that's that like that. So I'm just going to take off my backing and you need, for all your spine applications, you need a very strong double sided tape or a book binding glue, but the book binding glue I probably would go with that when you're very experienced at doing it because it really grabs quickly and you don't have much wiggle room. Ugh. Double sided tape, you also don't have much wiggle room, but what you can do is pop a little bit of um, just collar or something like that just to help with the wiggling. You don't need to, but it's just if this is the first time you've done it. So just a little bit so you've got a little bit of wiggle room. Like that. Again, don't use book binding glue because it's too sticky. So I know <coughs> on this spine I've got five flaps, so I know that number three is going to be the central one of my yep. spine. So I've got my tool lined up there. I'm going to line this up here. I'm going to pop it down. Push that back up and make sure it's all pushed in place. Okay. And I'm going to take my super duper Teflon tool. It's my multi purpose mm -hmm. one this time. Okay. I'll take this out of the way. Please be moving the rubbish. 
And when you stick your spines down, just go in. And then always turn it round because you'll have different pressure on the other end. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, yeah. yeah. So you end up with an even pressure overall. Yeah, you end up with an even pressure overall. And a good adhesion. Okay. That's good adhesion. And then just very gently find where your line is and then round down gently. Do that with a broad side, not, not, don't poke it. Don't, uh, never, use, never use a tip into your um, seam because you could um, tear your card. So I'm using my spatula a bit, but I'm just getting an idea where it is first. Just going down and then you can actually go, go down like that. That's it. I'll take to do that nice first, straight. yeah. Nice straight, just keep going. And that's your album cover. And if you look, you can see it's equidistant top and bottom and it's beautifully straight as well. Yeah. As okay. a, as a, yeah, they, they, so they make all the difference. They make all the difference, and that, that is the thing that most people struggle with because if you have your spine wonky, your pages will be wonky. Right, next thing you can do, you can also use it as an alignment tool for your embellishments, or if you've got um, alphabets, text. Text, 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 things like that, you want it to line up. Because you've got your notches here, you can actually slot it onto the edge of your page like that. Now you can see I've got a gap underneath because obviously it's, it's the page isn't, page isn't as wide as the thing. So what you can do is go to the edge of your craft mat, drop it down that way. Again, you could stick this with a little tiny bit of um, low tack tape, pop that on there so you know that that's straight. And then this time I think we're going for five eighths of an inch. Let's use our book binding glue. This is amazing glue. So it's it. quite thin, but it grabs really quick. It's it does quick yeah, grab, and yeah. it's a good strong glue. Okay, so I'm going to line that up. That's pushed down to the edge. That's pushed into there. Just want to make sure it's straight, and then I'm going to pop that one just there. Okay, so you can see that's nice and straight. And then this one, I'll pop up here. So I'll turn that one round, and I might go a bit different height this time. And let's try this one. Make sure it's pushed to the edge. A bit of glue. Pop that there. That does make placement a lot easier. It does. And if you, particularly if you've got an alphabet and you're doing individual letters. Yes. I was actually looking it? for alphabet letters but I couldn't find any. So that's just showing it stuck nice and straight on your pages. It makes it so much easier. It does, yeah. And the other thing you can do, now this is a card I've already made, so it may look, um, I'm sure this is straight when I cut it, but I just want to show you what else you can do if you want to do faux stitching. So what you can do is drop your card at the edge there. Come over the edge, how much do you want? We'll have, so I'm just gonna see, make sure that's gonna to be too wide. That's three eighths. One That's one and one quarter. Okay. Right, so pop the quarter in there. Okay, take your pen. Okay, and again, you can stick this, but you can just go along like this. I like, I like wonky faux stitching, but some people like it very straight. Okay, so that's right around the edge there. And then you just continue, get your card to the edge. Pop it on, and again. So you can stick it down, but it's, it's nice. You can feel it. You can feel it, it yeah. When it's straight. So we'll just go there like that. You probably find it easier to stick it down, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So you can just keep going. So you can see you're getting a nice, e even faux stitching all the way around. Well, you can just do it if you just wanted it, just to show you on the back. Let's get a wider one. Push that in so it's nice and firm, you know it's straight. <coughs> Just draw straight across and that's your line there. So then if you wanted a smaller line, lock that in place, pop it there, lock it in place and you've got exactly the same thing. Sorry my pen's not really showing but it all works. So it's all designed 
to, to yeah. help make your embellishment placements straight, much easier to do, help with your faux stitching and to get your albums fine straight. Okay, and that's it. All right, thank you for watching. Thanks, okay. bye. Bye.